Hey there, I'm Jordan from EasyPC, and today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own Rust dedicated server. Now let's get into it. To begin setting up your dedicated Rust server, the first thing you'll need is Steam CMD. You can Google it or use the link in the description to go to the download page. Once on the download page, click on the version for your operating system. In this guide, we'll be using Windows. After you have it downloaded, open the zipped folder and move it aside. Then make a new folder on your desktop named Rust Server. Now drag the Steam CMD EXE file from the zip folder you downloaded to your Rust server folder. Open the Steam CMD application and just wait for it to install everything. When it's done, type the command login anonymous and hit enter. Next, type the command app underscore update 258550 validate and wait. It's going to take quite a bit. Once it's finished, it'll say success. Next, we're going to make an update batch file to keep your server up to date. In the main server folder, make a new text document named Update Rust, or just update if you want, and open it. Type these commands in the order they're shown. Then exit and make sure it saves. Now edit the name of the file extension to .bat, which will turn it into an executable batch file. And then exit out of the server console. Now we're going to make a start batch, so go to Steam Apps, Common, Rust Dedicated, and create a new text document named Start. Open it and type the commands on screen in the shown order. Now, there are a couple of parameters that you can change in terms of how the server will load, including world size and a player count. For the world seed, you can choose any number between 0 and a number I'm not even going to try to say. And for the world size, you can choose a number between 1000 and 6000. For the rest of the commands, parameters, and what they do, I urge you to check out our text guide linked in the description. Now, do the same exit, save, and convert to .bat as before. Then open the new start program and it'll open a new command prompt. This is essentially loading the entire server, so expect it to take quite a while. Once you've reached this screen, you're actually ready to start test connecting, so open up Rust. Now, once you've loaded into Rust, go ahead and press F1 to load up the console and type in connect, a space, and then localhost colon. 28015 and hit enter. If you look at the server console, it should show you when you're connected with your name up at the top. And once you're in, go ham, do what you want. But that's going to be the end of this video. Big thanks to Troubleshoot for that last clip. We had an issue with our OBS recording software. You can check out their channel in the description below. If you want to learn how to install Rust Oxide to your server for mod support, there should be a link on screen and in the description below. So go check that out if you're interested. And mind you that other players can only connect to your server if they're on your network. For a full guide on port forwarding, which allows outside clients to connect, we'll have another link on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and found the guide helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. This has been Jordan with EasyPC, signing out.